a bit of a wear factor, but I'll, you'll see that in a second that it's a very thick piece of plastic and the wear factor is hardly any. Yes? Yeah, I've made an appointment to see my orthopedic doctor because now it's my right knee that's bothering me and I'm suffering from all those things that you had listed. Now, uh, I mean, you had a knee done. Yeah, I had orthoscopic surgery on the left one. Now, the right knee, I know I have arthritis in it, or arthritis. Now, to see me, it's a certain fee. And then he said, plus x-rays or whatever he has to do. Now, what should I look for when he does examine the knee? Well, what he's going to look for is to see how much destruction there is in that knee. In other words, is the, and you can tell that on an x-ray pretty much, uh, you know, if, if the x-ray is, if the, you can't tell that much, of course you get an MRI. And you can tell, the question is, how much destruction is there of the surface of the knee? If you have a torn cartilage, then what you need to do is just get arthroscopy of the knee, you get the torn cartilage taken out of there. But it's the surface of the knee that counts. See, so, you now, what, what happens is, and, and you've got to use some, some, the metal, what we do is we just take the surfaces and just clean off the surfaces of the knee and then you have to put on some type of a surface that will be smooth and move back and forth. So this is put on just like that and then the knee of course goes just slides back and forth. The plastic piece as you notice is a thick plastic piece and, it, and it's very strong and has almost no wear factor to it at all. It has some wear, and that's, that's you know, it's not going to last for 100 years, but it'll certainly last for 30 years or so. And it sits in a metal, very smooth metal piece, so it actually just can rotate and wiggle around. Dr. Burton? Yes, sir. I'm sorry. There was a question of how long you've been doing this particular surgery. How long have I been doing this? Oh, this one has been done for, it's been done for about 20 years, this the rotating platform. It became, after studies that were done, seeing how it's been, how it worked, it's become in the last five, eight years, it's become more, much more popular because we've found out that it really lasts longer and, and is much more functional and has a, a better natural feel to it. So those who are doing it feel that this is a, a way of doing it that, that can work very well. Yes? I miss uh, what the average lifespan of it is. The knee should last uh, 20, 30 years. Uh, and again, it depends on, uh, you know, what you're doing and, and uh, you know, how active you are. Um, uh, like that, that chap that was just here, uh, he's playing tennis on it all the time. And uh, I don't see that uh, that won't, uh, now he's not, I don't know how old he is now, he's, uh, let's, let's make believe he's in his uh, 60s. He looks, he might be a little older than that. But okay, so he's going to play tennis for another 10 years. And then he'll be a little worn out, so he'll, uh, you know, the body kind of wants to stop a little bit. So most of the people who get it done who are 50, 60, they won't have to have anything changed. Now, the worst that can happen as far as changing goes, assuming nothing, you know, major goes on, sometimes you have to, and this has occurred in many of the earlier knees that we did 25 years ago, you might have to go in there, take the plastic out, put a new piece of plastic in, you're back in shape. These pieces, the metal pieces, have been cemented into place and they won't loosen up. Now, I mean, anything can happen to anybody, and as you know, there's no 100% in, in any operation anywhere. But um, uh, we've seen that, and, and that was in um, knees that were done a long time ago, and again, the plastic wasn't quite as strong and as up-to-date as we have now. Yes? No, uh, we discuss it ahead of time, and um, I just happen to be using this knee now, and I feel that this is a, a good knee to use for most everybody. 